Today I'd love to talk about the benefits of helping others and the importance of spreading kindness. And that's because the studies continuously come back showing that if you are helping others, if you're serving others, if you're spreading kindness, then you have a massively boosted sense of wellness, self-esteem, you have more happiness, fulfillment, you have a better support network because you're getting more connections with people and you're more active and an absolute ton of other benefits. So I wanna go into those. And I also wanna go into the fact that inevitably we're gonna support someone because we're all going through stuff at any given time. But helping people can sometimes be a thankless task or you don't get to see the results for quite a long time. So sometimes it can just be useful to remember the benefits. So welcome to The Power of Helping. My name's Ruben Wax and I'm a trainee counsellor and I'm passionate about improving people's lives so that they're then in a better place to empower and support all the people around them. So let's quickly talk about the importance of others. It's human nature to want to help other people. That's how we thrived as a species for hundreds of thousands of years in tribes. But we're the first society to say, you know, you should live by yourself, you should work at a desk by yourself, and you basically got to do everything yourself. And if you ask for support, then you're weak. And the only person who can get over things like depression and anxiety is you. But it's such a redundant way of thinking because we need the support of the people around us. We're communal creatures and the way that we thrive is by leaning on and supporting other people around us. If we can use our excess time, resources and energy to make someone else's life better, that is a good use of our time and resources. And as Ralph Waldo Emerson says, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is the meaning of success. I've recently been absolutely devouring this book, Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss. And in the book, he asks around 140 of the world's top performers from business owners, entrepreneurs, athletes, to world record setters, to activists, to Nobel Peace Prize winners, and one of the clear repeated messages from these people is that success doesn't equal fulfillment. The fulfillment comes when there is some form of serving others in that success. So now let's talk about the benefits of helping others. And the first one let's tackle is feeling happy. So feeling happy is a response that we get because our brain releases chemicals that make us feel good when we support the people around us because then we're effectively lifting up the tribe and we're helping it to survive. And there was a really interesting study done on four countries, which was America, Taiwan, Russia, and Japan. And they were asking in this mass study, can you make yourself happier? So they took a, a massive pool of people and asked them to go out and see if they could make themselves happy. Now in America, it came back as no, but in the other three countries, it came back as yes, you could go out and actively make yourself happy. When they looked into it, they found that the Americans on average were going out and buying things for themselves, treating them to things, treating themselves to food, whatever it was. And when they looked into the countries, all three of them, which came back as a yes, what they realized was is that people were going out and doing things for others. And so that's the first benefit, which is getting more happiness. But the next thing I'd love to talk about is the ripple effect. The fact that when you help someone, then you're spreading kindness and that positivity will bleed through. It will ripple out to all of the people that they encounter in the next period of time. It might take a long time for you to actually see the real life results of you supporting someone or helping them, or you may never see them, but that's okay because it's gonna have a big impact on lots of people down the road. Now, an example like this came back to me recently where I had mentored a really good friend of mine who was a few years younger than me through GCSEs and A-levels because he was doing the same subjects as me. And it was amazing. I gained so much from that. And that experience seemed like a individual experience just on itself. And then around six, seven years later, he contacted me recently to say that he's set up whilst he's at uni a non-profit mentorship program where he's supporting kids who have had tough upbringings getting into uni. And he basically said that mentorship is something that's meant a lot to him in his life. So that showed me in such an amazing example of the massive ripple effect that it can have long term because sure, I helped him in a small way by mentoring him, which was wonderful. 
But then years down the line, he's now going to be making a huge impact on so many kids going forward. And then that's going to ripple out again. So another few benefits of helping other people, let's say when you're doing something like volunteering, is one, it really adds in a sense of purpose into your life. It really helps to build up your self-esteem because you're seeing the impact that you're having on other people. And this shows you that you have value in this world. And so when you're doing that, that one is going to build up your self-esteem, but then it also shows you perspective and that adds in gratitude into your life. Because when you're supporting someone who's going through something really, really tough, that reminds us to look inside ourselves and think, what I'm worrying about in my own life, is it as bad as I think it is sometimes? And that just adds in a bit of perspective. And that in itself boosts our mood and boosts our happiness because happiness is built up of our expectations of life and then what our reality is. So overall, it's going to add in perspective, boost our mood as well. Now, another benefit is that it reduces loneliness, which helps to combat stress and depression. This is because we're getting so much deep connection when people are being open and vulnerable with you and you're doing the same back. I just did a video on loneliness, so if you want to check out that as well, I'll put that in the link below. But that's a really, really great benefit of helping and supporting others. Let's quickly just touch on the fact that not every type of helping fits everyone. We've got to play to our strengths sometimes. I've tried a bunch of different ways of helping, whether that's volunteering in certain areas or helping in different ways, but I found that my greatest strength is supporting people by talking with them, listening, interacting in that kind of way. So sometimes it's a bit of a trial and error, but you want to find a way where if you're giving your time, energy and resources, then you want to be doing it in a way that you're being as effective as possible. And also something to consider is if you're naturally good at helping others or you naturally like to do that, then maybe a career switch into something where you are helping people for a living because you're probably going to feel very fulfilled throughout your career if you're doing that. Now, I remember when I decided I want to help people as a part of my career. I struggled to think past working in hospitals or charities, and those are both amazing options. But there are other options out there, so many ways that you probably couldn't even imagine. So doing a bit of research into what your strengths are and seeing if there are any careers where you can put those strengths in where you are really supporting other people. So the first thing that we've already touched on a little bit is volunteering. And if you volunteer just a couple hours a week, you can do that at charities, initiatives, your local community, with your council, there are so many different ways, but just a couple hours a week, you get all these benefits and they compound over time. You start to feel them more and more. Other ways include mentoring or looking at what your expertise are and giving them out to, let's say, charities or people that really need them. And you can also think about the people around you. If you think about it, is there anyone that comes to mind that you think, they're struggling a little bit at the moment. Maybe just pick up the phone and give them a call. So those are just a few ways of getting out there and helping others. But it's also important to remember not to overdo it. We can't help people if we've got compassion fatigue or we're too exhausted to actually care. So that's the point of this channel, feeling good so that we can get out there and support people in the right way. So in summary, helping others and spreading kindness, it's going to ripple out and it's going to impact lots of people in a really positive way. It's going to make us feel happy inside. It's going to give us a greater sense of purpose and build up our self-esteem. And then it's going to get us so many more connections throughout our life, deeper connections where you're able to be vulnerable and learn from other people's experiences. And if you enjoyed the video and you got some value, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And next week is all about reducing the amount of conflict we have in our lives by using this tool called the five love languages, which you may have heard of, but using it in a way where you can implement it into all of your relationships. So you're creating and building stronger, stronger relationships with less conflict and much more understanding. So I'll see you then.